Yo, what is up everybody? Good morning and welcome to um, Tuesday. I don't know what Tuesday is. Taco Tuesday, I guess. I'm not, I won't be eating tacos today because I'm fasting. But I will tell you this much. Hold on, I got a text message just came in. Um, as you can see, my partner in crime, Jill, is not here today. And that's cool. She has some things she has to do with the kids. So I'm taking the liberties of doing a video on my own. And this is going to be an explanation video that I want to talk about my recovery process and what I plan on doing to fix this thing right here. So to recap what happened to me, um, Saturday, Jill and I went for this long bike ride up at Deer Valley up the road here in Park City. We climbed this hill for about two hours and then we start hucking it down this hill on this double track in the middle of this beautiful meadow. She was about 20 feet ahead of me. She hops over this little bump, looked like a little bump to me. And next thing you know, it came up on me really fast. And it was a big whoop de woo and it was a mound of dirt. I hit it so fast, I didn't have enough time to correct and hit and lean back on my bike. And I just got projected up like this and boom, over the handlebars I went. And it was bike over top, elbows hit the ground and I just got mashed to a pulp. So I went to the doctor yesterday because I've, I'm stubborn and I never go to doctors and I, never go, I haven't been to a doctor in 20 plus years. But all my friends were trying to beg me to go get an x-ray. So I finally did and I got diagnosed with a non-displaced radial neck fracture with elbow effusion. That's the full extent of the injury. So basically I have a broken bone right here and I explained to the doctor what happened and he said that's a typical thing that happens when you brace yourself down like this. I actually have this nasty bruise. I don't think he said gnarly bruise here. This actually hurts really bad because I was trying to do some get up work this morning just with my body weight. And it was reminding me how much painful this actually is. And I'd say, I don't say it's parallel to this, but it's pretty painful. So I'm kind of banged up on both sides. However, the show must go on. I'm a super active person. I'm a super high energy guy and I can't be laid up for long. It's as simple as that. So as soon as this injury went down, what happened in my mind, I'm thinking, what's my healing strategy going to be? So I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do. And I'm going to tell you how I'm feeling um, as I go along this, this journey. So Sunday, I ate really clean. I had two meals. I did about a 16 hour fast before I started eating. And then when I finished my second meal, which was about five o'clock in the afternoon, I said, I'm going to do a four day fast water fast only, sea salt only, and I'm gonna do Roostox and Arnica 30C, which are homeopathic remedies that you put in your tongue with these little pellets, and they expedite the healing process when it comes to connective tissue, and they take down inflammation, and they help promote the healing process from the inside out. And I think I mentioned this the other day on one of my, um, my videos on um, Sunday night. So, the way it works is this. When you go through fasting, and you're not eating anything, yeah, everyone's saying, eat vitamin C, you need omega-3s, and blah, blah, I know exactly what to eat. But here's what my strategy is. Four day fast, your body has a chance to recuperate and recover. You're gonna go through autophagy, you're gonna get a stem cell dump. If you're taking roots, toxin, arnica, it's gonna absorb really well and really easily transdermally under the tongue because you're in a fasted state and there's no other food being digested at the same time. This is my whole theory behind this. Now, Saturday night, I could barely move my arm, I could barely do anything. Sunday, I started feeling a little better. Yesterday, I feel, felt even a little better and today I'm feeling even more better. So. Whatever I'm doing is working. I know for a fact, I'm about 37 hours into a fast right now. My brain function is starting to soar. My eyesight is through the roof. My ability to concentrate is really high. My mood is like really elevated. I could be super depressed or anxious or angry or whatever at the world right now because I'm injured because this is my favorite time of year and I like to be super active, but I'm not. I'm in a good spot right now. I was able to do 45 minute workout this morning with all of my good parts of my body. And I'm super thrilled that I was able to do that. And yesterday I tried to do a little bit of something and my arm was killing me. Today it didn't hurt nearly as bad. So I already know that what I'm doing is working. So I'm gonna do this hardcore healing approach. And in the event it works, I want you all to pay strict attention to what I'm doing and you can mimic the same exact thing I'm doing when you go down, when you get injured. And just know that there's always something you can do. Jill always says, even if you have 10 minutes or five minutes, there's always something. And if you're laid up or you're injured, even if you're incapacitated and can't move off a couch, you can just grab a dumbbell and do some bicep curls, do some presses, you can do something. You can grab a water bottle. You can go like this and squeeze a tennis ball. There's always something you can do. And when you do those little things, it's always the little things that are most important that add up to the big things in life. As my good friend Zach Blaine always says, little muscles have big opinions. So remember that mantra when you happen to go down with an injury or even if you have a cold or, or sick or something like that, there's always something you can do. And when you do those little things, it creates this positive energy flow inside your body. And when you start emulating positive energy, you attract more positive energy. So when you, attract, when you expel negative energy, you attract more negative energy. So we never wanna to go to the negative, we always wanna to go to the positive, so keep that in mind. Now, I'm doing a four day water fast, sea salt, roostox, arnica, four doses a day of those things. 
When I get off the fast, I'm probably gonna break the fast with some sauerkraut and some soup and some soft vegetables that are steamed. And then I'm gonna slowly start integrating bigger meals in as I go. But what I'm gonna really focus on is prebiotic and probiotic foods because I wanna boost my gut health through the roof. When you have good gut health, everything goes into balance. Your hormones go into balance, you're able to digest food well, and then the food that you're eating that you want to use to reduce inflammation and boost brain function and balance hormones is gonna be used adequately because your gut is firing on all cylinders and it's gonna break down said foods really well, distributing it out through your system. So it's gonna help promote healing, it's gonna help reduce inflammation, it's gonna help brain function, etc. So when I come out of this fast, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna up my vitamin C intake, I'm gonna make sure you get a lot of fiber, because a high dose of fiber in your diet helps boost gut health as well. And then I'm going to try to make, not mega dose, but I'm gonna get a little more omega threes in my system as well to help keep the inflammation down also. So, I was not given a time frame, a time frame or a times table of how long this injury is gonna to take to heal. People have been throwing six months at me, eight months at me, six weeks, eight weeks, whatever. I don't listen to anything anybody says because none of those people live in my body and I don't care what the, the science books say and everything else. I feel everyone is individual and I've seen miracles happen right before my eyes. Oh, mind you, I'm also sitting and meditating for five to 10 to 30 minutes at a time with my eyes closed and all I'm doing is sitting there putting positive chi into my elbow, trying to heal it and acting like it's 100%. And I think that's had a major impact so far on my healing process. So I'm a huge fan of the power of visualization. And I always tell people, if you're in a place you don't want to be, visualize yourself in the place you do want to be and act like you're in possession of that place at all times, every given second of every single day. If you want to be in better health, if you want to be in better shape, if you want to have less joint pain, if you want to have no pain at all, sit in a chair, close your eyes, visualize yourself in that position and act like whatever part of your body is ailing you is not ailing you at all and you are in the exact position you want to be. If it's more money, if it's a nice car, if it's a nice house, if you visualize yourself, it's all about the secret. You've probably heard of that. That movie that came out back in, um, I don't know what year it was, 2005 or something like that. They talk all about it. It's basically the power of suggestion where you put your energy to something and you attract that which you need to get there. So I'm doing that as well. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up right now. I just want to let you know that's what my strategy is. This week I might do a couple videos on some exercises that I'm actually doing that I can do with my arm all, all gummed up and stuff like that. So this is Killer K-Rail. I'm reporting live from Undisclosed Place in Park City, Utah. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. Till next time.